before we get into Metasploit framework and its structure inside of our Kel Linux, let us first talk about reverse shells and bind shells. As we already mentioned, shell is our access to the target machine. With the help of shell, we execute commands and control the target system. So shell is essentially our payload that we drop on machine after exploiting it. However, there are two different types of shells. We got reverse shells and bind shells. Now, reverse shells are something that you will use a lot. It works on principle of target machine trying to connect back to our Kel Linux machine. For this to work, on our Kel Linux machine, we must first listen for the incoming connection over some port. Then we exploit the target and drop a shell which will tell that target machine to connect to our port on Kel Linux that we're listening on. After it completes the connection, we can then control that machine. On the other hand, bind shell is when the target machine opens their port for us to connect to. In this case, it is the target machine that is listening for the incoming connection on that port. And we are the ones that must connect to that port. After we do it, we can control that target machine. However, there is one problem with bind shell. And it is also one of the main reasons why we won't use it that much. And that is because firewall can forbid target machines to open a port. Many firewalls could have a rule that says don't open any random port for security reasons. Therefore, our bind shell would not work even after exploiting the target. However, reverse shells will always work. Why? Well, because the target in that case is just connecting to us. It is the same process as when the target visits a website, it connects to a port on that web server, and it gets the web page of that website back. Just in this case, it will connect to a port on our Kel Linux machine, and we will establish a shell like that. That's why reverse shell is always a better option if possible. All right, cool. Now we are ready to start introducing ourselves to the Metasploit framework, the number one tool that we will use for exploitation. It is as important as Nmap, and we will use it a lot, so it is important we get its basics down first. It is not hard, however, it will take some practice to get used to it. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> 